stage, Cat and the Fiddler. Cats and the Fiddler. Yes. Get it all together here. So, um, well, three, as you can see, three very young. Oh, okay. All right. Um, three young, young people, young, young adults, I guess we could say. The first time I had you guys on my other show, you were like nine? Nine. Probably, yeah, something yeah. like that. Something like that. Okay. It's like I can't really see all three of you. So yeah. <laughs> I want to make sure I uh, can talk to you all. Um, yeah, so nine years old, and I was blown away at that point. It's like, holy moly, where'd these guys come from? So I um, want to talk to each of you a little bit, you know, and, and you know, see where you... You've been doing a lot of stuff since mm -hmm. then. You're now all 14, correct? 16. 16. 16. Whoops, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> 16. Oh, my gosh. I didn't, re yes, yeah. I didn't realize uh, yeah, how yes. long ago that was. 16. Ooh, good grief. And uh, we've got the two brothers, Sean and James, yes. twins, and then cousin, Carmen. Yep. Mm -hmm. Say your last name. Oh, Gibbous. Gibbous. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. All right. We're going to keep talking. Just ignore the, the engineer man walking around <laughs> you there. <laughs> Pay no attention to that man. Uh, I'm sorry, 16. I was I was behind a couple years, so my apologies. A lot has happened with you guys in in that time. So I'm going to back up because uh, you know, being this young and you've come so far, but you know where you started is intriguing in itself. So I really love the stories. Um, Sean, we'll start with you. I okay. think you kind of started this whole thing, if if I'm correct. Yeah. All right. So you you were basically doing you know the you know, the musical thing at uh, two. It says, when you were two, you were pretending to play the fiddle on something that you built on Tinker Toys. Yeah, that's okay. correct, yeah. Cool, uh, you just, I mean, first of all, where'd you think of fiddle? Where you, you had to know what a fiddle was or, or the instrument to want to build it, first of all. So yeah. where did that come from? Um, it was because my uncle uh, at the time was playing uh, professionally uh, down in New Mexico and Texas. He's in a, it was in a, country western band and his primary instrument was the fiddle. Okay. So I took a large liking to that and I emulated him all the time and I made my own out of the Tinker Toys as you said. <laughs> and it was kind of my hobby until I got a real one at age four. So. Yeah. Until I was four. You know, most four-year-olds, they don't even know what the instrument is uh, yeah. or whatever. And you know, a four-year-old maybe knows what you know, a spoon on a pot might be as far as any kind of <laughs> musical instrument, but a uh, very young age. So, well, obviously with your uncle, that's you know, helping mm -hmm. you see those things. And, and uh, many musicians had some kind of relative that they you know, saw and looked up to and you know, could, mm -hmm. could follow in their footsteps. So you know, kudos to your uncle for that, exactly. to get you going on that. So, um, but you did get your real first fiddle when you were at four years old, four, correct? Yeah. Okay. Your parents decided to get you a fiddle, mm -hmm. and it was a vi violin. It was this big. Oh. <laughs> and uh, I've gone through quite amount of sizes after that because I've been playing it for 12 years. So. Kind of grown with you. I would have, mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, again, kudos to the parents. You, you know, exactly. saying, okay, you know, this this kid's got talent. So, um, you know, let's, let's get him the real thing. The Tinker Toy ain't getting it anymore. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. You know, we need to, uh, you know, pursue this. So congratulations yeah. uh, to Thank your you. parents for that. And then, you know, getting you uh, going on that. And then on, and over the course of the time, you then learned the other instruments. Mm -hmm. um, you've got, you know, the, the mandolin, mandolin and the fiddle. And the, mm -hmm. what else do you play? The guitar and the banjo, drums, bass, piano. Wow. Well, I have a question. Of course, you know, being twins, you two, do your parents play instruments? Well, our mom um, plays the violin and piano. Um, okay. And she's pretty good, even though she won't admit it. And our dad <laughs> plays the radio. So. Plays the radio. <laughs> so it's all, it's all good. It's all good. Well, there's some good stuff that comes out of the radio, and you know, you hear all these musical instruments. So you know, <laughs> dad plays the radio. I haven't heard that one before. Good. Thank good, Dad. Uh, you got to do something. So congratulations. So you picked up all these instruments, and and I was. Um, while I was playing some other music there before you guys got on stage, it was fun watching you. Of course, you had that in your hand, and every song I played, you know, he started playing along. So, you know, I, did you recognize all the songs that I had played before that? No, I no. Just was just, following yeah. the progressions. He was just start plunking away along with the songs. I mean, you had the Moody Blues in there and Hot Tuna and uh, <laughs> Jacob Dylan. You were all the, the genres all over the place, and you were just. And then Carmen there with her foot was tapping along every single song. It's like. Music is in these guys, that's for sure. You know, you know, I couldn't see you, so I don't know what you were doing. <laughs> you were behind the two of them. 
Um, all right, well, Sean, good for you, starting out. And um, are you actually a little few minutes or seconds older than him? 10 minutes. 10 minutes, yeah. okay. Well, then you could be the first one to start. That makes sense. Uh -huh. Well, then let's just, we'll come back to Carmen here, but the, the twin, James Richardson. And uh, so you then, um, this just blows me away. You were one, and you were tapping sticks at one. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> all of us were enrolled in these... Um, Music, music together. together classes. I don't remember where they were. It's a long time ago, for okay. sure. And um, we learned rhythm and tone by like. So I guess our career started at age one, one. somewhat. So because we were from one to four, we were in these classes, just learning rhythm and tone, and oh. almost like dancing the music and stuff. And it was it was really oh, fun because cool. it got us into the got us to learn basic rhythm, basic tone, basic just basic stuff about how to play music and stuff, so it was pretty wow, cool. I've never heard of that before, so just like a little community just, yeah, class Yeah, or for eight, kids ages one to four. Was oh. at, I think it was at some school or something. Okay, so. wow. Really Is cool. anybody, you know, they still have those classes, do you know? Or? Yeah, I, I think they do. I mean, we um, met the teacher um, a few years ago, and it's been like 10 years since we saw her, and yeah, she, mm. I think she's still doing it, so. Very cool, it's called mu cool. music? Music Together Classes. Music Together yes. Classes, very cool. So all those, you know, new parents, <laughs> yeah. Starting at one years old, and you can see what might happen here, yeah, so you absolutely. never know. Well, that's cool. Yeah, and rhythm and music, it's so universal that that's a good thing to get your kids involved with. Yes, I mean, it if is. you can, it's, it's a great discipline. You don't have to learn an instrument, have to practice and all that. So uh, if you can do that, it's uh, for life, anything that you do, even if you don't go into music, it's got to be good. So yeah, that's uh, right. again, kudos to mom and dad there for you. So you start tapping the sticks, but then you did take up piano. So Yeah, um, I took up piano at like four, and I started doing some improvisation on the piano, and I really enjoyed it. Actually, I, when I started to learn the bass, I took the piano down. Um, I didn't play it for a couple of years, and I uh -huh. just started you know, taking it back up again and writing some songs on it. But yeah, when I, we started to play bluegrass, I decided that um, it was time that I took up a different instrument, so okay. I got a liking to the bass, and I learned it. Yeah. And I, I love playing it; it's so much fun. So. Well, I like this because uh, you know, being an upright though, and it's, it's skinnier, but easier to travel with. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's called an eminence bass. It's a lot more portable, and although you can't get the same sound out of it when it's mm -hmm. not plugged in, it's it, the quality is yeah. amazing when it's plugged in. Beautiful. It's yeah. It. Interesting. I, I have not seen one so <laughs> skinny. <laughs> yeah. It's probably not the good term, you know, for such an instrument, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, traveling would make things a lot easier instead yes, of the does. big old heavy upright bass. Yeah. yeah. Do you have one of those as well, or you um, stick with I this one? I actually traded that in to get oh. this one. So. Okay. I have this one and an electric bass for oh. when I need it. Very so. nice. Yeah. Very nice. So, all right, James. So we got a little background on you yeah. and the music. And then we go to the cousin. Hi, Carmen. Hi. <laughs> uh, same age as well. Yep. Uh, what, how, a couple months difference, or? Uh, five days. Five days. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, well, that's appropriate. I just yeah. fit right in. You can. It makes it easier. We're all sixteen. We're all fifteen. Whatever. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, good. So, um, so you started doing this, and you um, started on piano, correct? Mm -hmm. okay. Well, actually, technically, I. Like, same as them, I started doing percussion oh, stuff, so okay. like banging sticks, but yeah. You gotta, gotta get the beat. You yeah. know, if you can't you get the beat, it's first. hard to get the other instruments, I would imagine. Yeah. yeah. But then I did start taking the piano. Okay. And um, at the age of eight, my grandma got me the guitar, and yeah, I took that up. And then I was inspired by the bluegrass artist, Sia Cherry Holmes, to mm -hmm. play the banjo, and I fell in love with that instrument, and so I've been playing that ever since. Wow. All right. So, again, many multi interest instruments. Which you guys, um, well, you don't have keyboards. You, do you take keyboards out at all, or you stick Once with the strings? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. If, we have a yeah. piano at, if we have a piano at our gig, we uh, oh, take okay. use of it, play a song <laughs> on it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Why lug a keyboard around? You know, <laughs> just use it if they have it. But you've yeah. got so many the great sound of the string instruments. You know, then uh, you know that works for you at this point. Yeah. So why not stick with all of that? So. Yeah. All right, and do you you do most of the lead vocals too? We is actually it? share it. We're, oh, okay. we're both our little lead vocalists here. We'd like to get Sean involved, but he's mostly just our harmony vocalist. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. Do you um, did you either of you take voice lessons as well? Yeah, we both did. I think I took it for a little bit longer than he did with um, Milford Music, but we both have had our fair share of okay. music lessons or Good. voice lessons. Good. Well, lots of things. Good. Just talented all the way around. Amazing, amazing. Well, we have some more questions and all of that, but uh, let's get to some music. Right, we're going to sure, have sure. you, you know, go back and forth here. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm familiar with your stuff, and I know what you've done. So for those that have never heard uh, Cats and the Fiddler, you're in for a treat here. So I will step aside, and uh, what song are you going to start off with here? Well, we're going to play the song I'll Fly Away. 
Um, we played this when we were a lot younger, but now we've taken it into our own new contemporary styles. Okay. So, yeah. All right. The Cats and the Fiddler.